Throughout the patient assessment process, you will need to adapt the process to fit the patient's condition. The third part of patient assessment is the focused history and physical exam. This consists of a focused history, a focused physical exam, and vital signs. This program will show you the focused history and physical exam for a responsive and an unresponsive trauma patient. Injuries suffered by trauma patients range from minor abrasions to life-threatening conditions. Mind if I take off your skate and check out your For product. a responsive trauma patient with no significant mechanism of injury, once you've clarified the chief complaint in the initial assessment, focus your efforts on getting more specific information about the patient's condition. Did you feel lightheaded or dizziness before you fell? Oh, uh-uh. A little kid ran out in front of me. I hit a rack in the sidewalk. I wiped out. That's all. You feel this? Yes. Can you wiggle your toes? Mm -hmm. Good. Did you hurt anything else? No, my ego is a little bruised, but other than that, I just really twisted my knee. Hey, did you use your hands to break your fall? Yeah, I did, but I, I think they're all right. Let's see. You bend your elbow? Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm going to need to take your blood pressure, all right? Okay. When it's clear that there are no other significant injuries, do a focused physical exam and get a full set of baseline vital signs. When you take the patient's vitals, carefully record pulse rate, respirations, skin temperature, and blood pressure. Can you wiggle your fingers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. Okay. And I'm going to need to cut your pants because we're going to need to take a closer look at your leg. No, it's all right. They're shot anyway. Go ahead. It's 100 over 60. For a responsive patient, focus your physical exam on the patient's chief complaint. I really think we need to take you to the hospital and be seen by a doctor and get an x-ray. So we're going to split this up before we go, okay? okay? As you care for the patient, do a focused history. This is a series of questions designed to gather medical information that is not part of the focused physical exam and vital signs. If alert and responsive, the best source is the patient. Ask about symptoms, allergies, medications, pertinent past history, last food or drink, and events leading to the injury. Use the sample history as a guideline. Do you have any allergies? Not really. A little hay fever in the springtime. Do you take any medications on a regular basis? No, but I think I'm going to need something tonight. Have you been sick lately? No. How about when's the last time you had anything to eat? Uh, I had a uh, bowl of cereal, a glass of orange juice this morning for breakfast. That was like 7 o'clock. Anything else out of the ordinary happen to you today? No. Okay, we're going to finish splitting this up and then we're going to get you on a stretcher and we're going to get you to the hospital. Okay. During the focused history and physical exam, take time to assess the patient adequately and provide necessary care before you transport. Uh -huh. This is especially crucial when a trauma patient is unresponsive and has a significant mechanism of injury. The amount of time and effort you spend on the scene depends on the patient's condition. Dispatch ambulance 25. Go ahead 25. We're on scene with a male ejected from a vehicle, approximately 25 years of age. He's unconscious, unresponsive, but he is breathing. We have an ETA on Medic 15. Affirmative 25. ETA is 15 minutes. Hey guys, I was in the area when I heard the call go. I thought you might need some help. Hey, well, don't you ever go off duty? An unresponsive trauma patient cannot describe a chief complaint to help focus the physical examination. You must begin your focused history and physical exam with a rapid head-to-toe focused physical exam. Start at the head, looking for obvious deformities and bleeding. Let's go ahead and get the collar on him. If there was a significant mechanism of injury, always consider the possibility of a cervical spine injury. Immobilize the head and neck with a cervical collar and continue the focused physical exam. Bongs on. Contusion on the left side of the chest. Ribs appear to be intact. I'm going to go ahead with a set of vitals. Okay. Right arm's clear. Examine the entire body quickly and carefully. Look for obvious deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, right, burns, tenderness, lacerations, and swelling. 
random is clear. Pulse is 120 in regular. If you are working with a partner and the situation is critical, one of you can take vital signs while the other does the focused physical exam. The less time you spend on the emergency scene, the better. Respirations are 20. Compressions at the knee. I'm going to bring it in line. A good set of baseline vital signs is essential. However, in cases where transporting the patient is urgent, or conditions on the scene make it difficult to see or hear. Get baseline vital signs in the ambulance. And weak distal pulses on the left foot. Blood pressure is 104 over 72. Right leg and foot appears to be okay. Airway still okay. Left arm and hand appear to be okay. Right arm looks okay. I'll go ahead and get the board ready. A patient who is unresponsive or suffering from significant injuries is a high priority for transport. Treat only life-threatening injuries on the scene. Bob, you call the roll. Roll on three. Ready? One, two, three, roll. Let's check his back. Back's clear. Okay. Back on three. Ready? One, two, three, back. In this case, there is no focused history. The patient is unable to respond, and there are no witnesses to tell you what happened. In review, the focused history and physical exam fine-tunes the initial assessment and provides valuable information about the patient's condition. Vary the process according to patient type and chief complaint. For a responsive trauma patient, you will usually limit your focused physical exam to the patient's chief complaint. Swelling on the left side of the forehead. Okay. An unresponsive trauma patient is unable to provide you with a chief complaint. In this case, the focused physical exam is a head-to-toe examination to find patient injuries not identified in the initial assessment. For every patient, record a full set of baseline vital signs, including pulse, respiration, and blood pressure. Respirations are 20. Do you have any allergies? If the patient is alert and responsive, get a focused history. Any medications you take? Was anyone else involved? No, single vehicle. If the patient is unresponsive, try to get history from family members or anyone who may have information. Sir, sir. Stay on the scene only long enough to assess the patient adequately and provide necessary care.